guys i'm too excited to get into this second part of the season so i'm just gonna cut to the chase and say that this is what i'm snacking on because your girl got the munchies and cereal is the best snack for that right and this is one of my favorite cereals other than that if you want to watch my reaction to the trailer video and i talk a little bit about what i'm thinking and expecting on this part of the season that they showed in the trailer so if you're interested i put it up here and let's get into this because <laughs> we've been waiting let me know what you guys are eating on um or snacking on while you're watching the video I'm curious. I do need new snack ideas. I'm really craving this cereal, so if you haven't tried it, I recommend. She's looking like, is this a dream? She looks like she's gonna pass out. We are engaged. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. They don't seem surprised at all. Does he know? Don't you always thought so? No, he does not know, please. Louise, please do not tell him. Colin is not like Lord Debling. He will not be gone for years at a time. He will find out. And until he knows the real you, he cannot possibly love you. Please, just let him hear it from me. I just need a little time to find the right moment, but I will yeah. tell him you have my word. We're making promises. I feel Eloise hurt though, because this girl is doing a lot. Yeah, a storm is definitely brewing. It may come as a surprise to all that Mr. Bridgerton's rumored assistance in helping Miss Featherington find a husband has instead led to the two of them finding each other. Keep <laughs> that to me. Girl, starting little fires everywhere. She will compare me to a sour fruit or find some impudent quotation to ridicule me in front of my peerage. That's what I'm saying. Once the queen finds out that Penelope is Lady Whistledown. Miss Francesca Bridgerton is also making the most of the season. Her eye seems to be no longer on the Marcus Samadani and instead yes. on John Sterling, Earl of Kilmartin. Yes, so I ship that. Match. Is that all? Yes, Your Majesty. And from where have you returned? I'm just out for a morning stroll. A morning stroll. Which leaves me thinking that our entire friendship must have been a ruse to get to him all along. I don't think so. I think Penelope did like her, maybe? But then it just got messy. First, to your wives. In your stroll. Congratulations. <laughs> Lord Dabling was a reasonable match. A reach to be sure, but with all his eccentricities, it was a secure match. Tell her, Penelope. Colin cares for me. Has he told you that he loves you? I mean, he, he going to. Not in those exact words. And now you've been out till all hours of the night with no chaperone. And then you traipse in this morning with news of an engagement to the very same Bridgerton boy, using Lord knows what wiles to entrap him. Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Bridgerton is here. This woman, oh my God. Your daughter did not entrap me. I proposed to her out of love, nothing less. And were you not so narrowly concerned over your own standing, you might see that Penelope is the most eligible amongst you. I mean, I'm gonna I'm see how you feel about that in the future once you learn about Penelope. But she needed that reality check. I've been wanting that. I've been wanting that. Because, girl, get it together. This is to be our home. I know it does not look like much now, but once we lay out some of our furnishings and decorations... Penelope, you need to tell them. Everything I said to your mother is true. And you should see it as well. The infamous shot. You are the cleverest, Aww. bravest woman I've ever known. You are those things. And then there is the way your hair cascades down your shoulder. Oh. The way your eyes shine oh. when you look at me like two blue pools. Your lips parted just so. Oh. The softness of your skin. 
<clears throat> wow. Um, Y'all are not supposed to be doing this. You must tell me to stop. Do not wish for this. Shit, I wouldn't either. <laughs> but y'all not supposed to be doing this. This is interesting. This is interesting. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut all this out. But if y'all saw this, y'all saw this. Guys, it's really hot in here. <laughs> Tell me what to do. I like her straightforwardness. I mean, this is really intimate. But, like, I'm loving this, but, like, wow. <sighs> We're really getting this full explicit scene right now. I mean, y'all better be careful because we don't want no pregnancies, right? It's not the appropriate time to tell the family. Not with the betrothal and Francesca's courtship with Lord Kilmartin. Your mother has her hands full. I mean, just an announcement of a baby on top of everything else that's going on in the Bridgerton family? That would be just icing on the cake, I feel, or cherry on top. Would you be nauseated by the idea of marriage for yourself? No, I... I wish to be married. Very much, in fact. I just hope my husband will not hide my piano yes. stall from me. Hm. I would not dream of it. My girl is going through it right now. Oh, I just want to hug her. Mom. Are you all right? Am I to take it as an insult that Mr. Bridgerton thinks I am preoccupied yes. with standing? As if it is a misdeed to protect this family's place in society. No. There's nothing wrong with that, Mom. I'm certain she will understand. Mm. You were only trying to protect her. Perhaps you should tell her as much. Yeah, maybe you should try that. Lady Danbury, take a seat and enjoy this momentous day with me. What is it that we are celebrating? For real. The demise of Lady Whistle. Okay. Uh oh. And what is your plan, Your Majesty? It is already done. What? My royal messengers are marching through the streets as we speak. <laughs> oh, Lady Danbury. We are going to have so much fun. Oh, the queen is doing her own investigation on revealing Lady Whistledown. Yikes. I mean, it seems like the people who know about it so far has been lip tight. So I don't know what would get them to speak now. Is it going to be like whoever comes forward to tell me who she is gets like a massive reward or something? I hereby declare that whoever brings legitimate evidence of Lady Whistledown's identity to the palace shall receive a five thousand pound reward. I knew it! Most That's truly, crazy! Majesty, <gasps> Finally, the woman will get the consequences she deserves. Ooh. Imagine unmasking Whistledown. You will not try, will you? I'm certain I will not have to. Someone else will surely root her out. Oh, what did you wish to tell me? Mm. I guess not. So you're just gonna allow him to find out whenever she you're rooted out? <laughs> Penelope is playing with fire. Oh my gosh. I apologize for not telling you sooner about my feelings for Penelope. Uh, in fact, I think <laughs> Louise. It is strange enough to have one's brother speaking about feelings for one's friend. But you have known we're at odds, and still you went behind my back. I know. And I am deeply sorry. Penelope is going to be your sister soon. There was once a time that would have been your greatest dream. I know you despise Whistledown as much as I do. Oof. I don't know if Eloise would take this opportunity to do that. As my wife, Miss Cowper, will reflect me. None of this fashionable dress. Sombre clothing is best, grey or brown. Oh. And we do not flit about town 
engaged in gossip within the talk. How can the mother sit there and allow that? Do you not agree, Cressida? Hell no. Very good. <laughs> and of course, I, I do still expect babies. I so love children. I would be happy with four or five. Can you even produce that much? But yuck, on top of that. said uh i mean damn i don't know y'all that would be a bad thing to do because it will betray eloise and she does not want to be betrayed again because she feels betrayed by her best friend and her brother and the last thing she want to do is feel betrayed by her new friend but at the same time marrying that man is a death sentence and when you got to prioritize yourself and do something selfish, it will be that. It will be revealing what she knows about Whistledown. And would I blame her? No. No, I wouldn't. Even though that's dangerous and messed up for Eloise because I love her. But she got to save herself at the end of the day. You must take some time off this week. I cannot just... You can. And I insist you do. Your ledgers will not miss you, but your family will. Yeah, buddy. It's time to let that go. You know, adjust some things, tweak some things. You can relax now. Put the survival mode to rest. I know, it's hard. I'm still learning to get out of it myself. <laughs> and here is my son to be. <laughs> Lady Featherington, it is pleasant to receive such a warm greeting from you. I deeply regret my earlier yeah. comments. Let us put it in the past. Tonight, we celebrate our collective future. Mm. I did not realize that you were coming tonight. We ran into each other out promenading the other day. A happy coincidence. Indeed. And I invited him. <laughs> I see. Well, to the happy couple. Cheers to that. If it proves too difficult for you to reveal the truth, I will be merciful and reveal it to him myself. You have until midnight. Ooh. Damn. But if she's too wrapped up in this, she's going to miss Cressida trying to tell her to help her. And Cressida is just going to take it on her own and go tell the queen her damn self if Eloise don't snap out of it a little bit and listen to her her friend because that's a good part on her move this shows her character development because the old Cressida would have just spread it that news like wildfire but she's coming to her friend and being honest about it or trying to but if she's not getting paid attention to and looked past or ignored like her parents are ignoring her she's just going to take matters into her own hands as she should and it's gonna come out looking wrong at the end, but it is what it is. I look forward to our life together, to knowing each other fully, and to never taking a single day with you for granted. Congratulations. <laughs> Great speech. Great speech. <laughs> oh. Congratulations mm. to you both. Here is to truly knowing each other completely before the clock runs out. Do you want to hear my plan? Yeah. To avoid marrying Lord Greer. Uh, um, of Listen, course. Eloise. I'm going to take a flat in Vienna, live my own life with the reward money from identifying Whistledown. As much as I would love to see Whistledown finally exposed, you will never find her. Oh, I thought she already knew. Why did I think she already knew? And I could not find her myself. And you are far more clever than I. Cressida, I am sorry. Please, I cannot do this right now. I will find a way to obtain that reward. Oh, okay. Interesting. I didn't see that going that way. But hey, at least she communicated her intent to Eloise. But I don't, I don't know why I thought she already kind of knew or hinted towards who it might be to Cressida but maybe not. 
All that to say, sometimes I miss what is right in front of me. I want Miss Francesca. <laughs> uh, I love it so much. I saw straight away. <laughs> yeah, I saw straight away too. Perhaps she would love to be unmasked. The power, the infamy, freedom to do whatever she wants, not to mention the money. <laughs> <laughs> Cressida. And then, of course, there is the fact that she would not have to marry. That is a good point. Is Cressida gonna come forward and be like, I'm Lady Whistledown? That can work out in Penelope's favor. <laughs> I have an announcement. It is time that I put an end to the speculation. You would like to know who Lady Whistledown is? You shall know. I am she. <laughs> I thought she was gonna say, it is I. I am Lady Whistledown. And you are right. I can do whatever I want. Okay. Yes. Let's use that whistle down power. So now I can see why Penelope was oh. getting a little. Oh, power hungry in the trailer too. <laughs> I just love Caressa standing in the back. <laughs> like, yes, I am free. <laughs> She's back there celebrating it. <laughs> I love that for her, honestly. I do. Now it is making Penelope's situation a bit tougher on her because when she, when she do come out and tell Colin the truth, I don't think he's gonna believe her because everybody's gonna believe that Whistledown is Cressida. Like it's just too perfect, you know, with her attitude and her reputation and everything. Like it's just what makes sense. Like duh. Why didn't I think of that, you know? So I don't know how this is going to bode with Eloise too, because Eloise is going to be like, well, I'm going to tell them. But it's like, <laughs> nobody's going to believe them now, which is good or bad. I don't know yet because I'm enjoying Lady Whistledown. Don't get me wrong, but it's like, we can't be hiding these kind of secrets from our husband, Penelope, like... But then I'm just like, maybe she can just keep pretending that it doesn't exist, you know, and just weaning people towards Cressida now. I don't know what she's going to do now because, yeah, it just makes everything a lot tougher. But I'm loving this. Let's get into the next episode. Cressida Calver, that blonde backbiter. Oh. Do we really believe it is her? It makes perfect sense. I too might you. turn to write in vicious slander. If I were practically an old maid like Miss Calver, she is cruel. I know there is something you wish to tell me, but I'm happy to be patient until you are ready to unfold whatever it is you are feeling. No! I got a strawberry on my shirt. I promised Lord Greer a debutante bride, not a gossip writer. He has rescinded his offer of marriage. Oh Kill. no. <laughs> this is no occasion to smile, girl. Aunt Joanna lives in Wales. Precisely. Oh. You can write gossip about the sheep. Damn. You have many gifts, but cleverness is not amongst them. Damn. Miss Cressida Cowper, you are summoned to the palace at the behest of Her Majesty the Queen. Maybe that was a wrong move, Cressida. We are selling the club. Oh, that oh is congrats. Good I'm always pleased when people take my advice. You must draw attention to yourselves. And in the best way possible, by throwing a ball. Okay. <laughs> I mean, honestly, this is a roundabout way he can keep his club. Right? We do have a way with entertaining. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Lady Bridget, forgive my intrusion. I simply forgot my uh, hat. <laughs> Thank mm. you. Are you a Rolling Stone, Lord Anderson? How are you? I take it you sense a chilly departure between my sister and me. Mm -hmm. Perhaps, though it is none of my business. I do believe we will work it out. Childhood grievances have a way of lingering. 
What My sister was the first born. But you were the first boy. Mm. I shall let you nurse your headache in peace. <laughs> but I do hope to see you soon. As do I. As do I. John has a small announcement to make on our behalf. Very small. Indeed. Very small. The tiniest. We are to marry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just an exciting season for the Bridgetons. It's just good news oozing out of their ears. In truth, everything that has happened of late has softened me, I suppose. You mean everything with Penelope? My only concern now is with her well-being and our future together. That's really sweet, Colin. But you don't know her like we know her. Damn you, Penelope, for putting our girl Eloise in such a tough spot. I was going to tell him. <clears throat> Why tell him? When the better thing is for you to put down your pen. I cannot stop. Oh. Especially now. Yes, you can, because now you have the perfect escape. True. You've worked too hard for too long. Of all people, I refuse to let Cressida Cowper take credit. It would break my heart. And what of Colin's heart? Exactly. It would break his to find out the but truth. Exactly. You cannot be both. Exactly. Use that energy to create something else. New and improved. But it ain't that easy. Even though it should be. I know Lady Whistledown as well as I know myself. Hmm. Her greatest strength is that she is an observer. Hmm. What have you observed in your life other than yourself? Zam. Unless you can print a convincing issue, I do not wish to see you in my court again. Damn, this backfired badly. I mean, I saw what she was trying to do, but... I did not expect it to go this far this fast. I simply think it might be wise to uh, wait until near the end of the season before announcing your intentions. And that way we can all slink off to our country homes for the wedding and the queen can pick a fresh diamond at the start of next season. We do not wish to wait that long. We should like to start setting up a home together. We think speaking to the queen may be the wisest decision. Okay. Well, if you think you are up to it, we would like you to speak to the queen. Oh. <laughs> huh? Okay. Um. Wow. We do that to our parents, don't we? <laughs> but for now, until you walk down the aisle and settle into this marriage, your duty is to make Mr. Bridgerton feel as if he is the most important person in the world. To because to he is. To your husband. What about my dreams? Well, when it comes to Whistledown, you're going to have to pick and choose. Ladies do not have dreams. They have husbands. Sometimes what you wish for may come true. Through him. You're lucky, Penelope. Do not take that for granted. You better tell her. I'm glad her mom opened up to her a bit and at least told her that much. She needs a little reality check herself, Penelope. To Mr. Modric's fine club. To the club. To the club. Mm. She has to. She has to. She has to. Aww. There's a lot of endings this episode. Bittersweet endings. At least for him. You know, been tough for him, but he let it go. Pen need to take some lessons with that. You had a good run, girl. This was fun. Now dip out while you can. Lord Anderson, a pleasure. I was just about to speak with someone. The pleasure is all mine. Your arrival has been the talk of the town. I'll let the two of you get acquainted. Girl, what are you doing? I guess she don't want her friend and her brother together. <gasps> that answers that question. Because she don't trust her brother. And she's protecting her friend. I understand that. But we I want to know what's the tea? What's the drama? What is she? She's clearly holding on to the past for a reason. Is she just being a bit of a stubborn person and not letting things go? Or did he really do something? 
to deserve this treatment. I do not wish to be your collaborator. Mm. And I cannot be your friend any longer. Damn. I'm sorry. It's no wonder Penelope abandoned you. All you ever do is talk. You are clearly just envious that I've made something of myself. <laughs> Perhaps I am envious, Whistledown. Mm. It is quite a feat. And after spending a season feeling nearly invisible, I almost understand why one might be driven to write it. Mm. Congratulations on your hard-earned success. Damn. I did not see this going this way. I was believing in you, Cressida. I was like, your girl is growing. Character is developing into better. But hey, here is the old mass rearing its head again. So... Well, why does it not matter if Francesca is happy? But they do if the Queen suspects them. She may feel emboldened to oppose their match. Oh my gosh. Thank God we've come far from this. And uh, we can marry whom we want. Because getting permission from everybody? Is this you, you making a choice, Pen? Is she gonna burn them? Because I would. You know my favorite part about dressmaking? Is seeing the glow on a woman's face when she puts the dress on. I can't imagine ever giving that feeling up. I mean, Penelope did love seeing the reaction of people reading her work. But it's like, how can she have both? I know the queen would like see it as good competition, but at the same time, I don't know, maybe the, she can create a new job for herself with this. So like maybe her revealing her true self won't be as bad as how Cressida did. I think Penelope would really draw people back. I don't know if it will, I don't know what it's going to do to Colin though and their relationship because he does not like Whistledown. He would just have to like forgive her for everything she wrote about them and his family, which, you know, that's a part of being in a relationship, you know? You gotta forgive each other. But I don't know, like, I don't want her to give up Whistle Down, but at the same time, I don't know how both can exist with the new life that she's creating with Colin and the Bridgerton. How does that fit in with Lady Whistle Down? Like, something is gonna have to tweak or change. Um, kind of similar to, um, what's his name in his club? Him having this big grand ball at his house is another form of him being able to have a club in a way. It's just everybody's invited and not just a gentleman. So he can still be bartending and all of that. So it's right up his alley. So it's just like, I don't know how that can like tweak and change for Penelope unless she's just going to write for the queen. Because that can be a thing. Them together can be a dangerous pair we must get that reward before the real whistle down decides to publish again okay mom come through because <clears throat> the girl need help dear reader it is i lady whistle down mm. today i bring you much gossip from about the many lands mm. near and far far and wide mm. no mama I'm frightened. I would be too, girl. I would be too. But we need that money. I don't know why it's just like, ah! I just want to see them together. What's your issue, girl? I'm an, I need to know the tea. We need to get to the bottom of this because what's the issue? I take comfort in knowing that if we no longer have your club, you shall at least host the season's most exquisite party. It is quite exquisite. Love the color palette. Love the vibe. Not every attachment must be dramatic and hard fought. 
what John and I have is easy and... Yeah, I think... I love yeah. him, Mama. Even if it is not the love that you want from me. Yeah. Like, what's the issue? Like, I know that it's not, like, interracial. It's just, is it because the queen didn't choose it? Because when Francesca was all about just going for what the queen wants for her, she, the mom was like, no, like, listen to your heart. And, you know, you should want more. And now that she finally did that, it seemed like it's an issue. You are not the only one who cares for Lady Bridgerton. Must you take everything from me? Uh, here we go. It is about father treating me as the favorite over which I had no power. I do not care about that. Okay, so what is it? What I care about is that I had a chance of happiness and you took it from me. How? Do you think I do not know that it was you who betrayed me to our father? I heard him thank you. Wait, what? Your charm may work on every widow in the town, but I am unmoved. Yeah. Now, if you will excuse me. Yeah. I must find my friend. Yeah, what was that about, buddy? Tilly enjoys coming and going. I find the entire thing much too pretentious. Just mental, really. Is this man gay? I cannot imagine what is he gonna come on to mean. Benedict or what's going on? They be having threesomes. Are they in an open relationship? Apparently, <laughs> the wine has made me rather rude. Well, the wine has also made you rather charming. Mm, I knew it. Look how he's looking at him. What was that about? I knew it. Yeah, they're like in some type of open relationship. Forgive us. We were just talking about you. In fact. Yeah, and she brought them together so she can they can be in a little throuple. Would you perhaps like to join us? I mean, he might be into that, Benedict. Forgive me. Yeah, that's too much for him at once. But I see what you guys tried to do there. I mean, she looks good. And she always did war villain very well. Your Majesty. Were you invited here tonight? No, Your Majesty. I simply wanted to give you a gift. <laughs> what is... Oh. Okay, it's the new issue. Is, is there plagiarism involved here? Dearest gentle reader, mm -hmm. it is said that there is no rest for the wicked. If that is true, this author must be rather virtuous, for I have been enjoying a much needed respite from observing all of you. May we discuss? I shall look forward to tomorrow's issue. I wish to see some gossip. <laughs> then we might discuss your reward. I convinced you to let her take Mr. Dan's name, and now she has somehow written something coherent. <laughs> Not to mention puppets. breathe. We have created a monster, Ben. A monster who seems to have a feud with me, and by extension, my family. You'll be all right. How? Because I'm going to publish again. With one issue, I can discredit Cressida. It is not just gossip. Whistledown is power. Colin began because I felt powerless in my own mm. home. I was forced to debut a year early and I had no say in anything. Writing was the only way I felt I could have a voice. Okay. And I should have been using the column to give a voice to the other voiceless. Yeah. I have done plenty of damage with my pen. Yeah. Please. Let me use it now to do some good. Okay. Right her wrongs. Anything for Lady Wish with Colin. You. Oh, Lady Wish with Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I knew he followed her, but I didn't think he followed her. 
all the way there. Well, guys, that's the end of this video. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but I'm going to see you guys in the next one for episode seven and eight. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what y'all thought about these two episodes because first they came in hot and heavy with um Penn up in their new home, you know, getting very well acquainted with each other. Very spicy. We got some nudity there. And now we're ending it on him finding out the big secret. And this is all within two hours. These people are doing the damn thing with this freaking show. Okay. I just, it's just brilliant. But this is just the best writing I've seen in a long time. It's just everything is just hitting. No crumbs left. But anyway, <laughs> subscribe to my channel if you're interested. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.